हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी डू सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ़ यू हैवन डन इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम विच सेज दैट द यूनिफॉर्म स्लेंडर बार ऑफ लेंथ थ्री आर एंड मास एम रेस्ट अगेंस्ट द सर्कुलर सर्फिस एज शोन डिटर्मिन द नॉर्मल फोर्स एट द कंटेक्ट पॉइंट सी एंड द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ द आइडियल पॉइंट रिएक्शन एट ओ सो वी हैव टू फाइंड द रिजल्टेंट रिएक्शन एट दिस पॉइंट ओ एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड द कंटेक्ट द नॉर्मल फोर्स एट द कॉन्टेक्ट पॉइंट सी सो वी आर गिवन दैट दिस स्लेंडर बार हैज़ अ लेंथ ऑफ थ्री आर एंड इट हैज़ अ मास ऑफ एम सो द वेट ऑफ दिस स्लेंडर बार इज गोइंग टू एक्ट एट इट्स मिड लेंथ सो द मिड लेंथ ऑफ दिस बार विल बी थ्री आर डिवाइड बाई टू बट फर्स्ट वी हैव टू फाइंड दैट वेदर दिस कंटेक्ट इज एट द मिड पॉइंट और इट इज़ एट सम अदर पॉइंट सो वी हैव टू कन्फर्म सो फॉर दैट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इफ इफ आई ड्रा ए लाइन फ्राम दिस सेंटर ऑफ दिस सर्कल टू दिस पॉइंट सो दैन द लेंथ ऑफ दिस विल बी आर दिस इज आर एंड दिस लेंथ इज फ्राम ओ टू द सेंटर ऑफ दैट सर्कल इज टू आर लेट मी राइट दैट दिस इज uh this point p is the center of this circle right so this op length is this op length is 2r and this pc length is r so we have to find this length first and we have to find this angle theta so is if we look into this triangle opc so it's a right angle triangle since this radial line is going to be uh, it's it's to be perpendicular with that slender bar so since this slender bar will be tangent to this circle so here we have that 90 degree so now we can write that from pythagoras theorem if it if this if this is a right angle triangle so from pythagoras theorem we can write that uh, uh, the hypotenuse is 2r so we can write that this is 2r square this will be equal to r square plus that oc length square which is not known so we want to find this oc so oc square will be equal to 2r square minus r square and we have to take the square root so that will give us that oc length so now this oc so this is this is 4r square minus r square and if we take r square common so we will have 4 minus 1 r square like this and we can write that this is 3r square under the square root this is 3 r square under the square root this is oc length so we can write that this will be square root 3 so this is 1.732 1.732 and r square square root is r so oc is 1.732 r so from here to here this length is this length is how much this is 1.732 r now we have to find this angle let's say that this angle is theta let me put some angle theta here so if i apply sin theta so sin theta is perpendicular so perpendicular is r and the hypotenuse is 2r so this gives us r cancel out so sin theta is 1 divided by 2 or sin theta is 0.5 and if we take in uh, sin inverse so that will give us this angle so sin inverse of 0.5 will give us theta equals to 30 degrees so now here the bar is making angle 30 degrees so this theta this theta is 30 degrees now if i if i show that weight of this slender bar so it's going to act at its mid length and the mid length is this this is 3r so the mid length will be 3r divided by 2 so that is 1.5r so this 1.732r is greater than 1.5 this is greater than the mid length this is greater than 1. 5r so this means that the weight is going to act somewhere here it is going to act somewhere here right so this length will be from here to here this length will be 1.5r and from here to here this length is 1.732r now if if we have that 30 degree angle here so we will have that same 30 degree angle here since this angle and this angle they are alternate angles so this this angle is let me write that this angle is 30 degree as well so now if i if i show that uh, normal force at the contact so we will have this normal force 
this this is the normal force let's say this is nc and this nc will be perpendicular since it will be acting along the radial line and this is the weight this pink one is the weight which is m times g so now if we apply the summation of moment about point o the summation of moment about point o that will be equal to zero since the system is in equilibrium and we are considering that the counterclockwise moment is positive so now as we can see that this and c this and c is going to produce the clockwise moment so i will write minus minus and c and the moment arm of this and c or the perpendicular distance of this and c from that point o is this distance which is 1.732 r so i have to multiply this with 1.732 r similarly this weight is producing the counterclockwise moment and the perpendicular distance of this weight from that point o is this distance so we have to consider a triangle so let me draw that triangle here so we will have this right angle triangle like this so we know that this length is from here to here this length is 1.5 r so from here to here where the 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 point where the weight is acting is is at 1.5 r along the length so if i draw this uh, right angle triangle we have this right angle triangle let's say that the contact point of the weight is let's say a point q so this is that point q so this is that point q this is point o and let's say this is q dash but this is q dash so we have this o q q dash triangle this angle is 30 and this length is this length is 1.5 r this is 1.5 r so we have to find this length this length this is the perpendicular distance of that weight so the weight is producing the weight is producing the counterclockwise moment so we have to write that this is plus mg and the perpendicular distance of this weight from that point o is this distance or this distance which is the sine component of this 1.5 r so i will write that this is 1.5 r sine of 30 degrees and this will be equal to zero so from this we can write that minus and c 1.732 r this is equal to minus mg 1.5 r sine of 30 degrees and if we divide both sides of equation by r so this will cancel out minus sine will cancel out and and c will be equal to this mg mg into 1.5 sine of 30 degrees divided by 1.732 so this gives us 1.5 sine of 30 divided by 1.732 this gives us nc equals to nc equals to 0 0.433 mg so this is the normal force at the contact point c which was required now in the problem statement we were asked to find the reactions at o so the reactions at o is let's say here we will have o x and here we will have o y reaction so we have to find the magnitude of the reactions at o so for that we have to resolve this and c into its components so if if this angle is if this angle is 30 degree we have determined that this angle is 30 so if this angle is 30 and this angle is 90 then this angle is 60 since the sum of the angle of a triangle is always equal to 180 degrees so this angle is uh, 60 degrees let me write that this angle is 60 degrees so now if we resolve this and see into its component so it will have one component which is going to act in this direction this one will be the cos component we can write that this is and c uh, sine uh, cos of 60 this is this is the cos component and it will have one component which is going to act in this direction so this one will be the sine component this is and c sine of 60 so now if if i copy this So 
so now if we apply the summation of forces this is ox if we apply the summation of forces along the x-axis that will be equal to zero so as we can see that along the x this ox is acting in the in the negative x this is this is our positive x direction so ox is acting in the negative x so minus ox and in this sine component this is also acting in the negative x direction so i will write minus and c sine of 60 this will be equal to 0 and from this we can say that minus ox is equal to nc sine of 60 and nc is 0 0.433 mg so we will write that this is 0 0.433 mg and if we multiply both sides of the equation by minus sign so we will get ox equals to negative of uh, 0 0.433 mg sine of 60 so 0. 433 sine of 60 this gives us 0 0.375 minus 0 0.375 mg so the minus sign tells that the, that the assumed direction of ox is not accurate so if the magnitude of uh, ox is 0 0.375 mg so it is acting towards the right so this is the accurate direction so this is ox and now if we apply the summation of forces along the y axis is so that will be equal to zero as well since the system is in equilibrium again this o y this o y is acting in the positive y direction so i will write this is our positive y direction so we will write o y and as we can see that this this component of nc is acting in the positive y direction as well so this is plus and c cause of 60 and the weight is acting in the downward direction this weight is acting in the downward direction that is in the negative direction so i will write minus mg and this is equal to zero and this nc is 0 0.433 mg so we have to write this nc is uh, 0 0.433 mg cos of 60 minus mg so this is oy and that will be equal to uh, mg minus 0. 433 mg cos of 60 and we can write that this is mg 1 minus 0 0.433 cos of 60 so 1 minus 0 0.433 cos of 60 so this gives us 0 0.784 mg so oy is equal to 0 0.784 mg this is oy and now the resultant reaction at point o will be equal to ox square plus oy square under the square root so ox is this is ox which is 0 0.375 so this will be let me write this as this will be 0 0.375 square mg square let me write it as this will be 0 0.375 mg square plus oy is 0 0.784 mg square under the square root and if we take mg square common so we will be left with o equals to 0 0.375 square plus 0 0.784 square and the mg will come out of the square root since this will be mg square so now we can write that this is uh, 0.375 square plus 0 0.784 square so this gives us o equals to 0 0.868 mg so this is the resultant reaction at O which was required.